Okay. Okay, guys. Craig Tompkinson here. Uh, I just got back from uh, Kiwana. I went down today and I bought uh, two lithium batteries. I've um, it's been a little slow process in the making. I had to sell four 120 AGMs first, and I sold some extra wire, some six mil wire, and a couple of controllers. I end up getting oh good money for that. So then I shouted myself two brand new giant lithium power made in Australia apparently from overseas gear which I'm not saying the others do or don't I would love the iTech world ones but they're in Western Australia these were just down the road here 40 35 minutes away uh, it says they're Australian made and owned the company um, yeah they're uh, got to be charged yet. I've got a, in the process of buying a 240 charger, but for the moment I've got a DC to DC charger from the Toyota. I'll bring them up with uh, an AGM charger for a start, or, me, or I'll go and borrow a proper one, and then I'll put them on. Actually, I'll probably just drive around with them in the truck and bring them up with a DC to DC charger on, on lithium. But... Uh, I'll uh, undo the boxes and show you what they look like. I paid, um, they're on whatever they were, they were $699 each. And I said, what about a bit of discount? So the chap threw in two cables that he said were 30 bucks for the two cables. So about 14, just under $1,400 for the two batteries. It should give me 280 amps of lithium. And I probably won't use it because I'll just, if we go away with the wife and kids, uh, I'll go away with the wife and kids. I just use these batteries over here, no, two fridges. I don't know if you can see them. All my stuff in the shed here. Uh, I've got a 55 litre, that one. If we go away, and a, that's a 95 litre with a 27 litre in the top and 67 or 68 litre in the bottom fridge. Uh, and this one's got a little 10 litre fridge in the top. They're both Chinese fridges. Then if I go away with my mates, um, I take them too, and this 100 litre trailblazer. So they, they're both, all of them are pulling 17 amps when they're running, and about eight for the 24 hours. So I need from, when I got those two, I need about 70 amps overnight and uh, if I've got the three running in the camp I'll need 100, 100 amps overnight for 14 hours until the solar kick in. I'm going to look at buying a, a kick-ass 40 amp MPP controller because they're about, I think they're about 180 bucks. And yeah, they're pretty good value for a 40 amp controller and MPP. Uh, what I'll do is I'll buy it and set it up here because I've got three or four solar panels. I'll set it up here and just see what it goes like compared to my uh, Vitron gear. Uh, if it's not quite as good, I might end up just going to a 150 amp Vitron controller later on. But the only reason I didn't buy one big battery, I'd love a, a 300 or a 280 in one battery. But you get up the bush and that one battery has something wrong with it, you got no backup. At least this way, I've got two batteries hooked together. One plays up, I can disconnect one, charge the other, and I've still got battery. I've got a backup. Um, yeah, so it's, it'd be highly unlikely to have two batteries fail. Like I said, these are supposed to have five year pro rata warranty. That's 12 months uh, uh, changeover. See, it says there. 150 amp dual BMS or something, whatever that means. Um, yeah, a 12 months replacement if something happens and then four years after that. A bit like the old cat batteries used to be, if you've ever had any. Prismatic cells. Um, yeah, I don't know. Whether how they're good grade. I've seen a few tests on them. I'm not going to run any tests on them. I'm just going to take them face value and just do them what they are. I've got plenty of power there now once I charge them up. They're about 12.5 kilos. Actually, I'll, I'll pull them out, put them on my scale, 
I'll um, I'll turn this off and uh, and I'll unbox them as they call it. Attention, please do not. Yeah, I was going down to buy. I was coming down to buy one, and I thought I was going to buy another one in, next year. And uh, I thought, what the hell? I'm here. Oh, gonna say they didn't come with. Yes, they did. They did come with bolts. And everybody says they're a little bit short, but not for me. I I only run small buddy wires. And that'll do all the I ever want. There's a plug, there's plugs and that in here. Uh, they'll be stainless steel, whatever they are. A little looks like they've got a little cover on top of them. There we go. Voila. Attention, read before use. What's it say? Do not let Craig Thompson near this battery. Oh, ah, right, eh? Uh, Read before you use. By removing this sticky, you acknowledge that you understand the need to fully charge your battery before the first use. Okay. Bulk charge. See that it's got the parameters on it, but I can't understand what this lithium parameters is because that's the exact same parameters I got for an AGM or whatever I got. Calcium batteries, float charge 136. That's exactly what my Vitrons used to put in the. Um, the other one, yeah, it's just uh, bewilders me a bit actually with this lithium charging and then because you go you go and buy a um, uh, the iTech wheel one from Western Australia, they say you can charge them with any normal AGM charger. Their batteries, so got me bugger. That's that one. Gee, they're light. I'm gonna get me scales. The old salt scales with me. My wife and I grew bananas and veggies for years. Yeah, they're zeroed. I don't think they're going to be 12 kilos actually out of the box. There they are, 13 kilos, they're on. They said 12.4, but that my scale might be out a bit, but it says 13 kg. Well, that's nearly my old AGMs that I just sold were 32 kilos each. So nearly three of them suckers, not quite. Heavier. So how good's that? I'll sit that there. I'm not sure if that's lining up. Alright, I'll do the next one. I'll sit him down there. Oh no, I can sit him up there. Hopefully I should get 10 years out of these. Because I got I had the other ones for four years and never even four or five years the AGMs and they were still beautiful but the beauty of this is with my setup I lose a hundred kilos of battery weight going to uh, lithium now if I down the track I'd love to buy a oh I must point out I'm not sponsored by these I never got any discount Although he did give me a bit of a deal by trying those two extra leads. Um, yeah, so I'll tell you down the line if they're rubbish. Hopefully they do the job. Now, a mate of mine called Dale, he's had one or two of these, the 130s I think. And uh, they um, been in his boat on his electric motor for... I'm not sure if he said 12 months or 18 months. Oh, just say 12 months. And he's had no trouble at all so far, which is what you want to hear. So there you go. Giant 140. I'd love to do a, I could do a test on them when I charge them up one day and see how long they last for, but oh, I'm not into it for that. Uh, I don't want to stress the batteries. I, want, I could have got away with, say, uh, I could have went and bought a King's 200 amp or probably a little bit more dearer than one of these. But the trouble is you've got one battery and if that battery fails when you're up the bush, you've got one battery. And these, like I said, it cost me a little bit extra and I went to the, I got two batteries. 
And uh, the Kings offer a 12 months replacement. Prismatic sells the same. I know they're everywhere, the super centers. But these fellas were just down here, Kiwana. Kiwana on, uh, on Technology Drive. And um, yeah, just slipped down this morning. I'll tell you how quick they were. I walked in the shop. I walked in the shop at 8.30. I paid for them at 8.34. And I went round the dispatch just next door and I had them and I was gone. And I was up the road within a few minutes, heading up the road. So yeah, they're, they're pretty quick. And I, I just didn't, I just didn't want to... I would have bought the iTech World ones, they're 120s. But I did, then I learnt there was $60. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong, there was $60 each to bring them through the post. Um, from Western Australia. So they were another $100 dearer. These, like I said, were 700 The other ones were nearly 900 800 900 plus 60 Nearly bought them out to 1000 bucks. So, so yeah, $300 dearer. And they're only 120 amp hour batteries, but when they test them, they're actually only coming out at 105 amp batteries. I seen a test on one of these the other day, a giant 100 amp, and it tested 100 amps. So I'm hoping these test at, at 140, but I'm hoping I never use more than probably a couple of hundred. I'd like to keep them around, keep them only using two thirds or, or a half of them and they should, you know, do five or six thousand life cycles. All right, I'll put them on the battery and, and um, see how it goes. But uh, yeah, welcome to the family, boys. Oh, hopefully I'll put you through your paces going to Cape York and, and uh, running my gear and uh, this old girl I've had 25, and been in the family 25 years or more. My it was my father's and then he passed on, it's mine now. But yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing how they go. Okay. I hope that uh, I hope they go all right. If you live in any on the sunny on the sunny coast, they're down at um, Aussie Aussie Batteries. They are. I got them through at Kiwana. Uh, yeah. Like I said, they're, they're supposed to be on sale at the moment for six ninety nine. So whether they are or not. All right then. Catch you later. See you. Cheers. Oh, sorry about this, but for those who wanted to know, the new 140s fit in the same battery boxes as my 120 AGMs used to fit in. So that's perfect. They're actually physically about the same size battery. But like I said, these are 13 kilos and my others were 32 or 3 kilos each. I know a lot of people talked about them, but... Yeah, okay, I just thought I'd say that. Just hooking up the charge now. And uh, see how they go. Bring them up. Then I'll finish them off, completely charge them properly with the uh, DC to DC charger. Catches.